Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply and change different graphic settings in your game. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to just change the screen resolution, the view distance, the anti-aliasing, the shadow quality and the texture quality. And so in the last video I showed you how to make a main menu and this is the second part of that where I'm showing you how to make the options menu. So let's get straight into it. So what I'm going to do first is open up my level where I've made the main menu. So main menu level and then also open up the main menu widget. Now I'm not going to do anything with it at the moment as so I'm going to make a new one but we'll open it up as we'll need it anyway. So like I said as soon as I've opened this I'm just going to close it and then I'm going to right click in the content browser user interface widget blueprint to make a new widget and I'm going to call this options menu widget and then just open that up straight away. And so what I'm going to do in here is actually create uh, the menu so you can change between what you want to do. So what we'll do first is the screen resolution. So let me just get a text box here. And actually, I'll, I'll just call this the options one so you know where you are. So get options, text, and then in the actual text itself, I'll just call it options. And I'll put it in full caps like that. And again, mess about with the color, the font, all of that. but for the moment I think this is going to be fine for me and then again I'm going to anchor it to the middle and just move it up a bit like that there and what I'm also going to do is get the back button that we made in our credits one so you can see here we have this back button so I'm just going to copy and paste this so I don't need to make it again go back to my options and paste it on the canvas panel like that might need to move it up a bit but that's fine so we have that again and we'll just create the functionality of that straight away so if we get the button and then do on clicked what we want to do is take this back to the main menu so what we'll do is remove from parent to take away the options menu so take that off the screen and then create widget and this widget will be the main menu like that and then again obviously add to viewport like so so we can compile that as that part's done again so go back to designer and we'll start with the other graphics settings so again we'll get another text box and this one is going to be for the screen resolution so I'll just call this screen res text and I'll anchor this to the, uh, to the top left yeah and then inside I'll just call it screen resolution like that again size content scale this up a little bit and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have different options that you can click on so obviously you can choose which ones you like but I'm just going to have the main ones that I would like so I'm going to have four different options so I'll get four different buttons and I'll customize the buttons again first so like I did with the other one I have normal it's just white hovered I'll set to a little bit of gray so you can tell and then on pressed we'll have it black so again it's easy to just tell the difference again customize this a lot more for your actual game and however you want you can get really creative but this is going to be alright for me so I think this will be fine for the moment let me call this one the first resolution I'm going to do so I'll call it 720 by 480 button and like I say that's good so let me just duplicate this so control C and then on the canvas one I'll control V and I'll get another three as I need four so one two three four like that and I'll just move all these into place and again I'm not going to bother too much about how it looks I'm just mainly focusing on the functionality of it so if they're not all perfectly lined up then that's alright for me but again obviously you do it properly so we just anchor those like that this is 720 by 480 this one will be 1280 by 720 and naming the buttons really isn't uh, important but I like to do it just to keep things nice and organized and easy to tell what's what this one will be 1920 by 1080 and then the last one will be 2560 by 1440 so we've got a kind of small one then HD then full HD and then UHD so now let's get the text in there so you actually know what you're doing so like I said this one is 720 by 480 and then the actual text again 720 by 480 I'll set this to a nice black as well so you can easily see it and then I will copy and paste this onto the other buttons so they're already there and they already have black and stuff like that so this one again will obviously be 1280 by 720 and then 1920 by 1080 and then last but not least 2560 by 1440 and so now let's do the functionality for these so if we click on the first button and scroll down and get the on clicked event and if we just do that for all of them so we have 720 by 480 and then over here if we click them again on the variables so then the next one will be 1280 by 720 and again doesn't matter what order I just again like to keep things organized 1920 by 1080 and then 2560 by 1440 and then I'm also just going to move these up a bit just to keep them a bit closer together like that and then simply all we're going to do is just execute console command and the command for the screen resolution is r.setres 
space and then the resolution you want. So 720 by 480. And the by is of course just an X. So now if we get this another three times and then plug those into the correct button presses. So might need to move these down a bit. And then again just change the command accordingly. So this one will be 1280 by 720 and then 1920 by 1080 and again finally 2560 by 1440. Now the last one I can't test out as my monitor isn't that big but obviously if you do have a monitor like that size you can test it out. So to test this we're going to want to hit the little arrow next to play and then standalone game and then save selected and this means that it won't be in this little editor here so you can change the resolution of the screen. So if we just let this load I'll show you how to do this. Although we actually haven't created the way to get into the options, so if we do that now, close this, and then open the main menu again, and then click on the options button, go down, and I think we already made it, but no we didn't, go on to unclicked, and then if again we just remove from parent, and then create widget, and then we do options menu widget, like that, compile, and then we test this out again. So now if we click options, we'll go into the options menu, and if it doesn't work you get a black screen like this, it may mean you need a background, which I forgot to add as well. My bad. So if we go back onto here, go to the designer, and then if I just add image to the back, and again I'll do what I've done on the other ones. So 0, 0, 1920 by 1080, anchor to the whole screen, and then the image. I'll set to what I've got for the other ones, and then set the Z to minus 1 so it's behind everything. Compile, this should hopefully fix it. Ah, I know why it wasn't working, sorry. I didn't add to viewport. So if we go here and then add to viewport like that, this should now work. Sorry, that's my bad, I forgot to do that. So now if we try it again, this should now work. So we have our main menu, we click options, shows the options menu, we can go back like that. And then if we set it to 720 by 480, we'll go like that, 1280 by 720, and 1920 by 1080. And again, obviously I can't check this one as it does that because my monitor isn't the correct size. So 1920 by 1080, but as you can see, that works perfectly. So let's quit and then we'll do the other ones. So now if we go back into our options widget here, We'll next do the view distance. So if we get another text like this, and I'm just going to call this view distance text like that, and then in the text itself, I'll obviously put view distance. And for this one, we're only going to get three buttons, as that's the different kind of settings we have. So again, I'll just copy and paste this button up here uh, onto the canvas panel. Sorry, and it's already got the text, but that's fine because we'll change it, and that means the text is the same. So that's good. So we'll get three of these, like I said, and we'll just put them here. Try and line them up. But again, I'm not worrying too much about the looks of it. So this one I will call view distance so it's going to be low or near or anything like that. So actually I'll call it near and then the next one will be medium and then the last one far. So call these whatever you want but these are quite common names for it. So again near and I'll take, change the text to near as well and then medium and finally far. So now again we just do the same thing so we go onto it and then go to unclicked. So, so the unclicked command here and then we'll do the same for these. So we've done near, and then if we get medium, on clicked, and then far, on clicked. And again, we're just going to execute const commands. So execute const command like that. And then for the view distance, it's going to be r dot. And the r stands for render. So this one is then r dot view distance, all one word, uh, scale, like that. And then space, and there's three different values. Well, it's a value between 0 and 1 zero being basically none and one being the default so as far as normal so on the unreal forums they recommend for near to be 0.4 uh, medium to be 0.7 and far to be one so for near button here we're going to set it to we're going to go space and then obviously 0 0.4 and then we'll copy and paste this another two times medium i'm going to have as 0 0.7 and then far i'll have as one so the default distance you can see and this is basically just going to render in objects from different distances so like obviously the view distance and i'm also just going to put a comment on all of these just to keep it easier so you know what does what so select this press c to do a comment and this is screen res this is obviously view distance and then we'll go back to the designer and we'll test all these out at the end. So then designer, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna do the anti-aliasing. So again, get this text, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'll set the anchor to the left side now. I actually think I'll do the same with that one as well. And then this will be obviously anti-aliasing. 
like so. And then I'll put that in the text as well there. So anti-aliasing. And then again, for this one, we're gonna have four buttons like we do at the top, as there is only four different options you can do for this. So if I actually just select all four of these buttons and then duplicate them and then just drag them down to where I want like that. And then I'll just change the anchors for them like this. And then obviously change the names and the text and all that good stuff. So the first one, I'm gonna call the button low. And then the second one, will be medium, I'll put AA afterwards just so I know which one's which, I already have some of these called that, so low AA, medium AA, AA for obviously anti-aliasing, and then high AA, and with Unreal they say epic instead of ultra, because obviously epic games, but it's the same thing, epic and ultra is the same, so I'm going to call it epic as well, just because we're in an Unreal Engine owned by epic games obviously. So in the text, again I'll do low and then low in there as well, then medium, and then high, and then again obviously either epic or ultra, you choose which one you want to call it. So actually I might also just say epic slash ultra there, like so. And then again we'll just do the on click commands, so as you can see it's quite repetitive, it's very simple to do once you get the hang of it. All you need to do really is just know the console command and you're set. So we'll get low AA, then we'll get medium AA, high AA and epic AA. So like that, again, keep these organized there. So again, obviously execute console command and then the console command for this is r.postprocessaa quality. And you obviously wanna make sure you spell everything correctly. So I'll probably write all these down in the description below so you can just simply copy and paste them. So that's r.postprocessaa quality. And then the four different values you can have for this, I'll move the quote, my mouse there, are 0, 2, 4 and 6. So 0 is just completely disabling uh, anti-aliasing, 2 is then obviously a little bit of it, 4 and 6 obviously getting better each time. So for low I'm going to set it to 0, so r.postprocess AA quality is space 0, and I'll copy and paste this another 3 times, move these down here, and then for medium I'll set it to 2, for high I'll set it to 4, and then for epic I'll set it to 6 and then I'll just plug all these in like so accordingly and then again I'll keep a comment on it just so I know what does what keep everything nice and organized so this is anti-aliasing and then we'll go back to the designer and what we'll do next is the shadow quality so again I'll just duplicate this text and I'll call this one shadow text and then obviously in the text oh there we go I'll put shadow I'll probably say quality shadow quality and again this has four buttons so get these buttons and duplicate them move them down here I might need to make a little bit more space for the final one later but again we'll do that when we come to it and I'm going to keep the actual text the same so it's low medium high and epic slash ultra again but I'll just change the names of the buttons and the text and stuff so this will be low AA sorry so this will be low uh, S for shadow button I'll do SQ for shadow quality medium SQ high SQ and epic SQ and then obviously the same for the text so low SQ medium SQ high SQ and epic SQ so again we don't need to change the actual text itself so we just get the button events again so on clicked and we'll get that for all of them so we've got low SQ and then medium SQ high SQ and epic SQ like this and then obviously again execute console command this one being SG dot shadow quality and then this is from 0 to 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 obviously 0 being the worst 3 being the best so I believe 0 just takes off completely or if not it's very low so obviously for low I'm gonna have it 0 and we'll duplicate this another three times so 1 2 3 and medium I want it to be 1 high I want it to be 2 and for epic slash ultra I want it to be the highest it can be so 3 and again plug these all in accordingly and once again I'm just going to comment over it shadow uh, I'll call it shadow quality and then again back to the designer and we'll do the final one which is the textures quality if I just duplicate this yeah, we need a little bit more room let's call this textures text and then I'll put texture textures quality let me just select everything and move it all up a little bit so let's select everything although I don't want the image as well the uh, background sorry so yeah and then I can use the arrow keys to move everything up there should be enough room if I just move the button back down again so it might be a little squashed but obviously just make these smaller for you um, yeah and again this is four buttons with the same names for the text so I'll just duplicate these there and move them down to there so yeah it just fits 
So again, obviously I'll just rename these to low TQ for texture quality and do the same for the text as well. Then again, I don't need to change the actual text as I still want it to just be low, medium, high and ultra. So now the text isn't as important to change the name of. Uh, it's more the button so you know what's what. But again, just in case you ever want to change, do anything with the text, it's good to just have this ready and done in advance. So again, go to low, get the on clicked event and then do the same for the other ones. So we have low TQ, uh, medium TQ, high TQ and epic TQ. And then once again, execute console command. And for this one, it's simply sg dot texture quality. And then once again, zero, one, two, three, zero being the worst, three being the best. So for low, we do texture quality, sg dot texture quality space zero. And then I'll copy and paste this another three times and then plug these in like that. And then I'll change. So obviously low is zero, medium is one, high is two, and then epic slash ultra is three. And then once again, just comment over this textures quality and then we can test this out so you might not be able to tell that much of a massive difference uh, just as I'm in the third person template but these will work and you should be able to see a bigger difference in your games again this is now done we have the screen resolution the view distance the anti-aliasing and the shadow quality and then also textures quality and the designer it should some look something like this so again make this look a lot better for you but this works for me so if we now hit play so hit compile play save all of this and then we can test this out. So if we then hit options, we can get all to this, 91 by 1080. And if we set all of these to low and near, go back and hit start. I just realized this might not work as we're then changing over. Although no, it did work. So it just doesn't look as good. So as you can see, there's I don't have a shadow. So the player has no shadow. There's very bare minimum shadows everywhere else. And it just doesn't look as good or as smooth and I don't know how well YouTube will pick this up but on the edges of these it's kind of jittery it doesn't look as great as it should or as it could so it doesn't look too bad as um, my PC isn't that bad so it's still looking quite good but you can just tell it doesn't look that good so again obviously I don't know how well YouTube's going to pick this up with all the compression and stuff but there's just jittery edges on the edge of blocks and stuff the overall quality is just not that great and that's because of the textures. There's very bare minimum of shadows and my character doesn't have any shadow at all. And yeah, the textures, the anti-aliasing, all of this just isn't that great. So now if we put it back to high or epic on everything, sorry. So if we go through it again and change everything to epic slash ultra, we should see a massive difference. So obviously go back to options, 1920 by 1080, far, epic, epic and epic, hit back and then hit start. You can see that everything just looks a lot better. So I have a shadow, the textures just look a lot better. It's not like blurry or anything like that. And there's no jittery edges on the lines. They're perfectly straight and look fantastic. Again, the shadows are just a lot better. They're all here now. Just overall, the game looks a lot a lot nicer and a lot more pleasing to look at. So I think that'll be it for this video. I've done everything I wanted to do. We've set up an options menu where we can change the screen resolution, the view distance, the anti-aliasing, the shadow quality and the textures quality and this works in our game and it looks really good or really bad obviously depending on which one you choose but it works out perfectly. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this video helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.